It is a personal privilege to welcome to the podium the head of Florida's justice system, lawyer, circuit judge, district court of appeal judge for 17 hours, <laughs> justice of the Florida Supreme Court, and now the chief justice of the Supreme Court, and someone in whom all Floridians can have the confidence that we are a great judicial system. Chief Justice George Labar. <laughs> Let me just begin by saying that uh, I'm not too worried about Dean Cannon because that cannon misfired about three years ago. <laughs> uh, my wife and I had the, the privilege of uh, actually attending a conference at the Greenbrier Hotel in the mountains of West Virginia this summer. And it was a conference for all 50 chief justices of the state and I got a chance to meet a number of them. But at a dinner like this, we had the, the honor, actually, of sitting with Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, and she was sitting next to me. And I noticed that her, her dinner, her, her meal, was delivered to her long before anybody else's. And she started eating. And, uh, and she looked at me with a stern face, because she was going to be the keynote speaker, and looked at me with as stern as she can, you know how she is. <laughs> And she grabbed my arm and said, son, if you're going to go around making speeches at dinners and lunches, you make sure they let you eat. <laughs> so when you agree to speak, you make sure that the dinner and the meal comes to you first, and then you speak. Otherwise, you won't, talk, you won't get to eat at all. So I, first thing tonight I did is uh, knowing that I also want to get my three minutes from Hank. Uh, that I better eat. The state of the judiciary. It is as usual. You know, we have judges working very, very hard. Uh, we're hoping that judges will be properly compensated. Florida, as you know, is, has now surpassed New York. It is California, Texas, and Florida as the largest, most productive states in the country. Yet, as far as judicial salaries, we are now number 26 in the country. We right down there with Alabama, and not too far behind Mississippi. I heard Mississippi has a billboard that says, thank God for Florida. <laughs> so we're, we're hoping, since we have now entered into this age of prosperity, that hopefully uh, we will prevail and let us catch up a little bit. I, the one thing I do want to talk about, I think, Hank, how long, how much long do I have? <laughs> you see behind me? Uh, uh, I want to talk about the commission we, we just created on access to civil justice. Uh, Greg Coleman, the president of the Florida Bar, who is here somewhere. Greg, where are you? Stan, there he is. <laughs> Greg and I uh, were talking about creating that commission long ago. He knew he'd be president at the same time that I'd be chief. And it became our goal to create this commission because we feel it is something that is desperately needed. Not just for the poor, the poor obviously need it. Uh, and the poor has been neglected. Uh, but also for America's middle class. I'm talking about the people who earn too much to qualify for legal aid and yet do not make enough to be able to hire a competent lawyer. We call it the gap. And that's what we're talking about. We created a commission, 27 members. We have members from the legislature. We have the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee as a member, this, the chair of the House Judiciary Committee. We have a representative with the governor's office. The attorney general is a member. The chief financial officer is a member. And we have members of the business community, our public supermarket, the general counsel is a member. The general counsel for all of Disney, not just Disney World, all of Disney is a member. And the, and the CEO and owner of Cheney Brothers, a close friend of Greg and myself, uh, is a member. 
So we had the business community, we had the legislature, we had the legal profession, we had the legal aid society, we have everybody in there. And I'll tell you the same thing I've been telling everyone who asks. What are we gonna do? Well, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lock them all in a room. <laughs> Very smart people. And they're not gonna come out until we get a solution. And we're gonna have an interim report in October of this year. And we're gonna have a final report early in 2016. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to working hard on that. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep pushing, Greg's gonna keep pushing, and the next president of the Florida Bar, Ray Abedin, who's also here. Where are you, Ray? Oh. There he is. <laughs> now, if you think you're in trouble with Hank, my, with, with Hank up here running things, <laughs> just wait until these two Cubans get a hold of the state. <laughs> We're gonna have Bay of Pigs part two, but, <laughs> but this time, we're gonna get our own air support. <laughs> Thank you, and that's the state of the judiciary. Thank you.